to work, you are behaving ungodly. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I want to oppose this motion. Yeah, Mr. Speaker, ordinarily, uh, this kind of motions uh, should not be, uh, should not receive uh, a lot of uh, loud opposition. Uh, but the point I think uh, we are pursuing here is that this is a house uh, of record and procedure and decorum. A question of disclosure is very important to members uh, so that we debate from a point of knowledge and from the point that no member moving a motion will keep certain material facts away from members who would wish to vote one way or the other in a motion before them. The speaker serving here, I think, I think you are the octogenarian of this house. I'm sure you are serving your sixth term, so to speak. And uh, you are a veteran in these matters. Uh, going back to your legal practice, again, you are the octogenarian. I see a lot of lawyers in the house, but you are the senior most lawyer, as I know, in this house. I'm sure, uh, Mr. Speaker, you would wish that uh, your legacy is remembered that you did business which conformed to the law of the House and the Constitution. A, a matter such as this uh, is very noble, but it is important that the majority leader who has moved this motion discloses uh, the kind of uh, motions instead of uh, anticipating debate. Again, something which goes against the standing orders. I listened to the member who seconded the motion. Uh, all he said was that because this is a very important issue, uh, it should be supported. I think this is also the learning curve that some of uh, uh, distinguished members who are coming for the first time would wish to know what, it, how, what, is, what are some of the ingredients of what a member would propose. Uh, uh, you know, this, this issue of point of orders nowadays, I don't understand. Everything is point of order. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, Even when nothing is out you know, of order. You know, the only teacher Kajuang is my very good friend. And, and he knows I have a lot of respect for him. So you should not get angry with me for rising on a point of order. Just, just to let you know, Mr. Speaker, is it in order for the only teacher Kajuang to have missed the House Business Committee in which we discussed some of these issues? If, in fact, if he, if he was in the House Business Committee, he would have known the urgent matters that are likely to come on that Thursday morning. In fact, you would not be belaboring this point. In, in fact, Mr. Speaker, in fact, you would have supported it. In fact, I can see he's belaboring uh, this point under some, uh, I don't want to say delusion, Mr. Speaker, under some strange uh, lack of information. And I just want to appeal to him that we discuss, you know, of course, when I sit there on the TJ Kajuang, you know, and we were good members of the T, uh, jailer. And you know, we don't intend to mislead you in any way. We, we, we actually have serious business on, two, on Thursday. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. M M Mr. Speaker, uh, my learned friend, I, I long for the days we served in JLAC. Uh, unfortunately, th this is not what I am seeing happening. But he knows very well that I am quite in order that those are committees. House business is just a committee like a members, uh, bus uh, members committee. And the fact that uh, a member did not attend a meeting does not preclude one from making uh, remarks in this house. Mr. Speaker, opinion. my point has been made, really. Yes, my point is this, that uh, could the member, we want to vote, and we want to support this. Uh, is it possible that the member would be given more time, the majority leader, to inform the House of details of this information so that we vote by conscience, we vote by information? Uh, I think that, Mr. Speaker, you would wish that when we read the Hansard, you would have presided over a House that keeps law and procedure. Thank you. I see no further interest. Let me put the question which is that